one one what up though it's your girl amp from the d you know me or i'll be i'm gonna attempt to do my hair today okay hopefully i don't tap out i'm just gonna put two strand twists in it um it's pretty much clean it's dry but i'm gonna do it dry and i'm gonna use this taiho by tali waji Tali, Wally's, whatever. I get this for my local black owned, melanated owned beauty supply store. Uh, yeah. So, try to do something to this. While I'm doing my hair, we're going to talk about Facebook memories. We're going to go down memory lane for today, October the 22nd. And we're going to talk about the things that was posted, the things that I posted, and try to see, like, re try to remember where I was at at that time, what I was thinking at that time, what was going on at that time. So I think... This would be pretty fun. I just gotta get to the memories. Okay, so I made it to my memories. Mm. I don't even know where to start. This not gonna be a professional thing. I'm just literally just trying to give it some type of loving, I guess. I don't know. So, should I start from the latest post to the most recent or from the most recent to the latest? I think we should go back. And this is just for today. I can say that today in my memory, this day in my memories is pretty short. Like there's days to where it's very long. Like year after year, I was just posting stuff. I wonder if I do need to get like a squirt bottle or something because it's pretty dry. See, I'm playing around now. I'm not about to do my hair. <laughs> I'm not about to do this. Whatever. I might need something wet, but I don't know. We don't need no clear parts. We don't need none of that. I literally just want to two strand my locks. Like nothing else to it. <clears throat> See, try not to braid it tight. Okay, so I'm trying not to braid it tight due to the fact that it's not like separated or anything. It's hair everywhere, so it's like hair pulling from different angles. But, uh, like, look, this one was just two locks, but I got extra down here, so I'll just twist this. 
Yeah, you can twist more than one lock in a circle. It takes um that's a big fat ass lock. Oh well. We about to put this stuff up. It's about to be winter time. And we got other things to be worried about. So I'm about to put these locks up here. Okay, so let's get to this memories on Facebook, all right? My first one for today, where I'm just reading today, October the 22nd, 12 years ago. I'm about to shut this stupid page down and take my cell apart. Ugh. <laughs> I don't... I was about to say my phone probably was acting slow, but looking at the comments, it looks like I said because I'm hurt, sad, confused, and lonely. <laughs> so that's that. 12 years ago, Diane is so oh, wait a minute. I gotta make sure I keep my keep this out of here. Twelve years ago, Diane and I with my pride and smile on my face. That's actually a song by Tamia. Um it's called Smile. Let's see. Okay, so we don't want to get copyright. I just wanted to show. Um, so yes. So Diane is I with my with my pride and smile on my face. Twelve years ago. Oh. Mm. <laughs> so twelve years ago. I don't wanna. I'm reading exactly how I posted. I don't want to give my baby up, dot, dot, dot. I already know I'm going to regret the abortion if I get it. Shaking my head, what a girl to do. So, that's a deep one right there. 
I guess you don't know how personal you are until you can actually see it. So, uh, maybe we should read the comments to this one. I don't know. Let's read it. So, again, as Daddy said, I don't want to give up my baby. I already know I'm going to regret the abortion if I get it. Shaking my head. What a girl to do. <laughs> comments. These are comments. Don't do it, A&P. <laughs> Somebody said, call Dr. Phil. Have the baby, and if you don't want the baby, give it up for adoption. Keep the baby. It will haunt you if you take God gift away. Be happy and get ready to make another lady like you into a woman. You already know how I feel about this situation, but whatever you choose to do, I am behind 100%. Think real hard about it, baby girl. Somebody said, real shit. You shouldn't put this out here on Facebook. If you need someone to talk to, you always have family. Just because we don't talk every day doesn't mean that we are not here for you. If you need to talk or call me or inbox or text, I'll inbox my number. Thanks, guys. You all have good points. And blank, I totally understand what you're saying. I'm just confused. I'm with Kay on this one. All you have to do is pick up a phone. Whatever decision you whatever decision you make will be the last one for you this is a very private decision ask yourself this most important question what's best for ashley now what would people think think about what we talked about sunday uh, Kay and karen are right the first question is what is best for ashley a baby is a beautiful thing the most important job in the world are you ready for that job congratulations on your baby love you just just look at it as a step in life that you have to deal with you know you want to look good just make sure that baby is the same it'll make you better at the end real shit one-on-one -on -one. i'm here for you ashley you have to take the time out and really think this through do you do what's best for ashley you can always listen to people opinion but the decision is up to ashley i'm with you 100 just like everyone else love you Mwah. it's a decision that would change your life two three four years later you would think of all of what if call me my shit has not changed so i mean people have their own opinion and people can say what's not for facebook and what is for facebook or the internet um different people think different things so you can think that the things that you're posting is should be private or not and I could be thinking that the things that I post is not being private. You know, people take being private to a whole level of being secretive and being uh, neglectful. That 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 private stuff, I don't really care for, for certain things. When people are going through life, stuff that's not private it's not private that people have sex it's not private that people get pregnant it's not private that people have abortions it's not private that people lose babies it's not private that people um uh carry babies and then have them and then give them up it's not private about any of that stuff it's only private if it happens to you you know like it it it, it doesn't matter Everybody go through life. You might not go through the exact same thing that somebody else is going through, but everybody goes through life. Ain't sh nobody life perfect. Ain't nobody's perfect, okay? What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to suffer in private. I'm not going to suffer. I'm just not going to do it. I might not call, but I could be transparent for myself, to myself, within my own self. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really want to bring my issues and problems to anyone. You know what I'm saying? People get exhausted from that. And then sometimes people can't always help you with your situation because you're, you're the only person that truly knows your situation in and out, in and out, okay? People can't, they can say what they want to say from the outside, but people really don't know unless they're in the inside. And that's just real talk. On to the next one. Oh, and by the way, I supposedly did have an abortion um, and then Chunky 
less than three months later, I ended up pregnant with Chunky. Spiritually, I'll say that I attempted to get an abortion. And I believe that I carried my son for a very long time. He already, he was due October 13th. He came October the 16th. And, and yeah, so he's very intelligent, smart, outgoing. Um, he's just a genius. So the way he is and how close we are, and I just feel like he never left. So I could have carried him for a whole year. <laughs> he was here. He never left. Um... 11 years ago, at home, finally. I don't know where I was at. Oh, of course, it's October the 22nd, 2010. So 11 years ago, this was a couple of days after Chunky was born. So we were finally home from the hospital. 11 years ago, shaking my head. I hate when he leaves, sad face. I have to be talking about my husband. Oh, here we go. It's a picture of me and Chunky. Let's see. Me and Chunky. That was six years ago. We were at Blake's Orchard and Cider Mill. So we was at the Apple Orchard. Um, here we are again at the Apple Orchard. This was the Hayride six years ago. Here we are picking pumpkins. Damn hair everywhere. Hold on, y'all. Usually, I'm very quiet when I'm doing hair because it's like, it's a vibe, you know, it's a zone. So, but you don't get something done with this year. All right, pick it, picking pumpkins. Well, no, that's he, my baby in the blue hat right there. Stop, stop, dude. <laughs> he says, stop, dude. Don't worry about what he's doing. Go, go. Chunky. Chunky always be tripping. Okay. That was the apple orchard six years ago. Here's apple orchard again six years ago, feeding animals. Six years ago... Someone that live over here keep going through my car, taking my change. They out my car. <laughs> so if you live in Highland Park and you know you like to go through people's cars and take their change, I'm talking to you, okay? Somebody was going through my car every few days, taking my change. 
one at a time, they actually took um, a tablet and something else. I think it was a bag. I didn't, I wasn't even mad. I wasn't even mad, but yeah. Let's see the comments to this one. Somebody said, you don't lock your doors. And then somebody said, stop leaving change within the tape. And then somebody else said, your door locked broke or you just not telling all. I said laughing out loud. Do you all really think I just leave my doors unlocked? Not at all. I'm not going to say what exactly on here, but someone knows my car. Well, you should leave a nice diaper where your change sits in your car. Trust they would not be back. I just seen your comment. That's funny. Who going to leave me the diaper? <laughs> One of these kids in your family. <laughs> um, three years ago, that wasn't anything. It said this content isn't available. Let's see. Two years ago, Rise and Shine. When your menstrual cycle come around, ground yourself as naked, covered. Ditch the past and use a cup. Every time you empty your cup, give it back to earth. Simple. Try pouring over compost and certain plants. This is part of giving back and reconnecting to earth and self, marking your territory, demanding respect without opening your mouth, introducing yourself to the animals, overall spiritual protection, insider. One month I dropped a whole cup of, a whole cup in the toilet and had a heart attack. I called my best friend in tears, laughing my ass off. She like, nigga, really? I'm like, yeah, that was a whole 15 milliliters of blood blood laughing out loud which post hashtag which post and then it says p.s be careful with your plant blood is very potent i know a lot of people had a lot to say about that one but um you heard what i said I'm just going to leave that there. All my fellow witches know exactly what it is. No further explanation. That was two years ago. Two years ago, content isn't available. Two years ago, men will have a king size bed with a perfect queen lying in it every night only to cheat with air mattress ashley <laughs> only to cheat with air mattress ashley i reposted that somebody had posted that that was funny that was funny Today was like kind of lame. So that's all of my memories for October the 22nd. See? This was the last one right here. And that was two years ago. But I think I should do that more often. Let's talk lock talk. Lock talk. So, my locks are in February. My locks will be four years old. And my locks have only been to the salon twice.
I am semi-freeborn. I do not use products all the time. I don't even use them often. Um, I use them every now and then. Like, I'm using it now. When I first started my locks, um, I didn't do anything to them. Actually, I like I did like a, a detox, like a full body, hair, everything detox. Like I detox from everything, from products, really products I detox from. Ouch! So I'm popping my lock because these boys are like, attaching like that's why i'm trying to put them in two strand twist because it's like it's they need some love like some of them can stay together but usually i separate them if i can see that see a gap or if like this part here where it's attached at if it's more than a finger separated so like if i can do this then it don't need then i'll separate it but if it's like this and i'm trying to trying to trying to um find space then i i won't like separate them because some of them once they marry um you shouldn't take them apart And some locks you shouldn't take apart after they marry. Because sometimes some things are just meant to be together. So. Ouch. Yo, 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 yo. With the... I ain't got lost. I'm just about to put these right here together. Put these two together. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, do I want to take this apart? Yep. Because it's too much space right there, so... It... They don't need to be together, or do they? Let me see. Mm, no. I might need to get one. Oh, you know what? I should have left that one on there because this one is thin. Mm -hmm. If it attached back, I'll leave it. 
actually that I, now that I think about it, I should have left that one on there. So sloppy. And that's it. No professional work. I just want to give it some type of love. <laughs> Put it away in something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I just wrapped it. Why this one pop out like that? Why you being hard headed? Ouch. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish and I shall be back. Peace.